nail stamping, reverse stamping, creating your own decals. I'm so confused, I don't know where to start. <laughs> Now if that sounded like you, you've come to the right place. I've started this new series called What is Nail Art? And I'm going to be going through a bunch of different techniques. This week we're focusing on nail stamping and I'll be going through the two key types of nail stamping that you can do and some of the tools and techniques that you can use so that you can uh, learn and essentially you start doing nail stamping on your own. So very first question, what on earth is nail stamping? The best way I can describe nail stamping is where you take a metal plate that's been sketched with an image. You put some nail polish over the top of that plate and then using a stamper which could be made out of rubber or silicon depending on the type of stamper and I'll, don't worry I will come back to types of stampers in a second. You put the stamper over the top of the plate and ideally pick up the image and then you have the image on your stamper. From there you can pop the image straight onto your nail or there's a few other different techniques but for now let's just focus on keep it popping it on your nail so by doing that that's essentially nail stamping you're stamping the image from the plate onto your nail it's a really cool technique because it allows you to create um, or put different designs on your nails you can do different colors so it's almost like you've got your own sticker library without having to rely on stickers you can get really creative with the designs that you can do there are four pieces of equipment that you'll need for your nails for nail stamping first one is the stamping plate your stamper itself, the scraper, and then a stamping polish. Although you can use some regular polishes, it just depends on the consistency. Some will work and some won't. If you're a beginner, I highly recommend getting a stamping polish. It will make your life a thousand times easier. So scrapers is just really a plastic card. Um, there's nothing more to it than that. They have a certain amount of flexibility in the card, which uh, can actually affect how well you can um, use the stamper and do the stamping method. The plates come in all different shapes and sizes, there's little circle ones, there's big rectangles, small squares, you name it, whatever shape you can think of. I think I've even seen love heart shaped ones before. So they come in many different shapes, styles and so on. The stamper, then there's a few different styles and types. There's three really key ones though. One is a marshmallow stamper and that's typically used for uh, resizing images and you may want to resize an image if you've got a really huge one that you want to make small um, you can also make them bigger as well but generally people have large images that they want to shrink down whether they're putting it onto people who have got small nail beds so like kids nails or they've got um, just a big image that they want to shrink down because it looks cool the other two types of stampers are a clear silicon stamper and then a rubber stamper I personally started out with the rubber stamper it was a bit firmer and I'm really glad that was the place where I started I think if I used a silicon stamper I probably would have struggled a lot more than I did however some people have started with silicon stampers and they've been absolutely fine so it's really just a matter of a bit of a luck and also how you learn so if you're not if finding success with the first stamp you've got try a different style and you might find it works until you get the use of the rhythm um, and get used to the technique as well before I move on to the different types of stamping, so yes, I will be explaining what on earth reverse stamping is, I just want to quickly touch on care of your equipment. So for stamping plates, it's completely okay to use nail polish remover, acetone if you use that, to clean your plates, uh, provided that they're not plastic. They're typically made out of metal, and so completely fine. However, for your stamper, do not use nail polish remover, acetone, or any of that on your stampers. One exception is I have found the rubber stampers you can get away with it, but for silicone it will eat it straight away and it will destroy it. Um, so there's a couple of different things you can use to clean your stampers. One is just rolling it onto a bit of paper or a silicone mat if you have one. The other is to use some uh, sticky tape or my personal preference is to actually use a lint roller, like the one that you use to uh, get rid of the lint off your clothes. It works pretty well. Alright, and now as promised, I will explain what reverse stamping is. So firstly, I've only been talking about just, I'm going to call it stamping or basic stamping, where you're just putting a single image onto your nail, and it's generally straight from one to the other. Reverse stamping is taking up that notch, and essentially you're filling in all the gaps in that image so that you can add some colours and change up the design a little bit. It really opens the doors once you start doing um, 
a reverse stamping. If you are going to do a reverse stamping, I personally prefer using a dotting tool over a brush and there's a whole heap of technique around it. Um, you could do the reverse stamping on the stamper itself or you could use a silicon mat. There's heaps of different options and ways that you can do it. I'm not going to explain all of the reverse stamping techniques here. I will uh, link one of my other videos where I go through how to do reverse stamping. The other techniques are layered stamping. So there's two forms of this. One is uh, putting different image over, images over the top of each other um, and can re create some really cool abstract designs that I've seen recently. The other one is you layer the stamping and you create a image. So like this uh, fruit watermelon image that I've created. Um, and that was actually laid up uh, stamped images. It's that one I found it really hard to get a hang of, but once I got uh, used to it and got used to lining up the images, it wasn't too bad. So in this video, I've shown you what is nail stamping, the different techniques and everything that you need to get started. I hope you found this useful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, comments, I've missed something, or you just wanna say hi. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Next week I will be going through nail stickers and decals and wraps. So stay tuned for that one and I'll see you then. Bye!